My name is Mark Robido, and I'm the R&D product manager here at Eastwood. Been with Eastwood for about 24 years now. What I do is develop the in-house or the exclusive products here at Eastwood. Stuff that we found uh, solutions for to common problems that help you guys out at home. Over my shoulder here is a 68 convertible Camaro. The other one is a 71 Volkswagen Beetle. The Camaro back there, bought that thing in 91 off a buddy of mine. He had it for a little while before that and uh, it had a bunch of crashes on it. In fact, every panel was replaced on it except the deck lid. That was the only thing I was able to save on it. It's not a numbers matching. It's got the original 327 block. Other than that, it's got some aftermarket heads on it, uh, different tranny. I upgraded the rear in there. It's just a fun driver. Got about 80, like I said, 90,000 miles, I think, on it since I first put it together in 91. It's had two different paint jobs on it. The last one that's on it right now, that's $1,100 paint job. The stencil that originally was a vinyl, I put that on, back taped it, sprayed that with urethane, then put everything into clear. It's just a fun car to drive. The 71 Beetle behind me is something that uh, I got from my wife. I never really did any imports, I always messed around with uh, Chevys, Mopars. The closest I got to an import was uh, a little bit of time working on my buddy's Ford Mustang. Uh, you can see the stance has been lowered on it. There's a lot of German stuff in it that I don't know anything about, but it's fun as hell to drive. Supposedly it's got about 107 horsepower in it. It's a 75 fuel injected block and then, like I said, a bunch of Volkswagen stuff on top of that. I picked it up. My wife has a little girl, always uh, drove around in her mom's VW. She always had a bunch of them. And she always remembered that iconic late 60s steering wheel. So I was looking around for one of them to get to restore. Couldn't find anything. Stumbled onto this one and then uh, me and my daughter um, wrapped it up, made it look like a huge present in my shop, and I had some people over in a party for my wife, and she came out there and unwrapped it. My favorite thing about working at Eastwood, um, it's the culture. You know, we got a great, great bunch of uh, people there that are into the cars, into the hobby. Uh, whether it's racing, restoring, or just driving around in it. I also like the, um, the ability to move around inside the building and the company itself. Um, marketing, I work with the video content guys, have fun with them, uh, work out in the warehouse, packing boxes, just seeing what you guys and customers are buying. We got a nice conveyor line. I'll go out there during a break or just to get away from the desk, walk around, see who's buying what, what they're working on. It's pretty neat to guess you know, where they are in the stage of a restoration by what's going down the conveyor line in a box. I really like developing the products. You know, I do this stuff at home. This is really all I do, is either play with cars, anything mechanical. So during that, you know, I'll get to see what some problems are, uh, come up with a solution, go back into the building, talk with the rest of the team. We turn it into a product. A couple months later, you guys buy it. It may be a tool, new, you know, maybe a new chemical, anything to just help the hobby. That's what I really like about Eastwood. My name is Mark Robito. This is my 68 Camaro and 71 Volkswagen Beetle.